I'm Dr. Singh. I'm one of the pediatric infectious disease doctors at Chalk Children's Hospital. The symptoms of novel H1N1 virus, otherwise known as swine flu, are similar to seasonal influenza virus infection and include fever, sore throat, cough, congestion, sneezing, headache, muscle aches. A significant number of people have also complained of vomiting and diarrhea. The virus seems to be spread by mechanisms similar to seasonal influenza virus, which means by respiratory secretions and droplets. So you can uh, be exposed to this virus from someone sneezing or coughing, or perhaps by touching things in the environment that have been contaminated. Individuals with this particular virus are contagious from one day before they have onset of symptoms until about seven days afterwards. Children may actually be excreting the virus for even longer. Individuals who are having symptoms of influenza-like illness should be tested and considered for treatment if they have a high risk for complications from, from influenza. So Otherwise, healthy individuals who have mild symptoms may not need testing or treatment. If you get flu-like symptoms, it depends on how severe they are and whether you have any underlying medical problems. If you are a normal, healthy person and you have mild influenza-like illness, you may not need anything except rest and to stay away from others. If, however, you have severe illness, or if you are at high risk of complications from influenza, then you should seek medical care and your physician will decide if you need testing or treatment. Some of the high risk groups for complications for influenza include individuals who are over 65 years of age, those with underlying medical problems such as diabetes, asthma, or renal disease, patients that are immune suppressed, and especially children under the age of five, particularly those under the age of two. In general, if you have influenza-like illness, you should avoid going to work or school. If you have mild illness, you should just rest and stay away from others as much as possible unless you need medical treatment. If you have more severe illness or you're at higher risk as we discussed, then you may need to seek medical treatment and in that case you should wear a mask when you go to the treatment facility and you should be very careful about hand washing. There is treatment available for this particular viral infection and those patients who are felt to be at high risk for complications or who are severely ill or hospitalized will get treatment so it's best to speak to your physician if you think that treatment might be warranted. I think it's good to talk to your children about this because there are a lot of rumors and other discussion about swine flu in the community, and children actually may be uh, nervous or apprehensive about the infection itself. It's important to be honest with your children, tell them the facts, but not be too alarmist about the situation. You should remind them to wash their hands as often as possible as that will keep them away from many illnesses and also to keep them at home if they are ill so that they do not spread the illness to others. To avoid getting this illness, your child can be very careful about hand hygiene that will prevent the spread of infection in general and is a good habit for them. If they do have symptoms of respiratory illness, such as coughing or sneezing, they should remember to cough or sneeze into a tissue and directly throw that tissue into a trash can and then once again to wash their hands afterwards. If they have friends that are sick, they should stay away from them, preferably more than six feet away, and not share food or drinks with them. Patients can find some great information about prevention, epidemiology, and treatment of influenza on the CDC website at cdc.gov.